This video recaps two equations, both involving fractions, and talks through those two key skills to revise for your examination. Now, in the first example, we have a fraction minus an integer equals, in this case, 12. Now, to solve an equation like this, I suggest that we look at the minus 9 first. And if we add the 9 to the other side, so the minus 9 cancels off, we're left with a fraction, in this case x over 3, equals, and because we added 9, 12 plus 9 equals 21. And this just leaves a fraction, x over 3, equals 21. Now the fraction line means divide, so to solve this equation we do the opposite of the inverse function, we multiply by 3. So this means that x equals, and if we work out 3 lots of 21, we end up with x equal to 63. So again, my advice, if we've got a fraction minus an integer, we deal with the integer first, and then times by the 3 afterwards, to get the solution to the equation. Now, in example 2, we've got 3x plus 2 all over 5. We've not got this separate integer to one side of the equation. In this case, we times, first of all, to cancel off the big over 5. So in this case, I would times by 5 to begin with. Now, 5 11s we know to be 55. And if we times by 5, the over 5 just cancels off. And all we're left with on the left-hand side is 3x plus 2. This then becomes a normal equation to solve in, in some respects. We've got a plus 2 on the left-hand side. So if we subtract 2, that will then cancel off. So 3x becomes 55, take away 2, which is 53. Then to finish off with... I've got 3x equals 53. If I then divide by the 3, I'm left with x is equal to 53 over 3, which I will leave as a fraction for this particular question.